Hi you guys, quick video following up from the previous one I've uh, just posted showing you how I've got my phone set up and how I organise the screens and uh, basically uh, use my uh, Note 3. Now a lot of you guys coming over from uh, iOS or using iOS as well as a Note 3 because it's a, a bigger screen. I see a lot of videos on YouTube where you've got screen after screen of icons that are plastered all over the show, it's very untidy. I mean it's your personal preference to do that but... I just want to show you quickly how I've got my screen set up and how uh, I actually roll with this particular phone. Now what I tend to do on my home screen, these icons you see at the bottom, very very touch whiz. Some people don't like touch whiz, it doesn't really bother me, but I like a clean interface. So this is how your screen would come up, you'd probably, let's get to a widget screen, you'd have this screen and you'd have these icons on the bottom. You can change these around apart from the app drawer. What I do on my phone, I'll show you how I actually set it up. This screen here, I have a calendar on this screen and nothing else. And on this screen here, I have, uh, at the top, I've got my music player, I've got Soundhound, and I've got TuneIn Radio, and I've got my uh, Tweet uh, rack set at the bottom, Falcon Pro. Uh, on this particular screen, what I would tend to do, or one screen right or left of the home screen, all these icons on the bottom, I'd get rid of them, but I still have them all on screen. So we'll, we'll put on this one for the purpose of this video. So we'll move these icons just onto the screen. Because they don't want to go into folders, there's something you're probably going to use all the time. And although most people have them set so that as you swipe on every screen they're on the bottom, it's no big deal for me to be on my home screen, which is this one, and just go to one left and have them there. So it's, it's, it's only one screen away, it's not a problem. Uh, and if I'm on, on the other screen and I want to use the phone, just press home and just go one screen over to the left. Uh, so that's how I normally have my home screen. It's fairly simple. I've got a white icon for the app drawer, which is a standard uh, TouchWiz icon. And I've got one big widget on the screen that you can see at the top, which incorporates the Google Search and Google Now. And I'll show you this is one widget if I move it around. And this is actually the One Weather widget. Once you download One Weather, if you go into the widget pack and you look through, you'll see this widget which incorporates the clock, incorporates the time, and it incorporates the search bar on the top. So if you click on the search bar, you've got your search straight away. You can type a search in, click on the time, it takes you straight away to alarm settings. And if you click on the weather, obviously, it takes you into your weather settings. Now, once you're in the weather settings, you can adjust this clock to do what I've got now. So you can adjust all the settings to have it all clear. Uh, I've gone through that in another video, so I won't touch on it too much now. But basically, if you're in the... Let's see, there's a settings tab on the corner there. If you go into the settings and you, you look down underneath, once you get in settings, you've got your background. I've got it set to light. If you want to quickly do it, this is a quick run through. Background set to light. Opacity set to zero. Icon set is black, accent is white, if you don't set it to white, a lot of the accents are blue. Uh, clock, I've got to uh, default uh, settings, device, div device default, which, which will take you to your alarm settings, uh, and details, current conditions. So as long as you have your clock face set to custom, uh, uh, and all the rest, accent set to white, opacity zero, and background light, you'll get this clock face and just go OK, and that'll save. So that's how I uh, rock my home screen. Very, very basic. Nothing cluttered on there. Just a, a search bar at the top, and my time, my uh, calendar links on there as well if I want to go into it, and also uh, my weather. If I go to the right, I've got one whole screen that's just full of folders. And now no other screens have got folders on, just this one screen. So I've got Samsung, I've got my S Pen folder, I've got a game folder, a weather folder, messaging folder, file management systems uh, folder. So I've got my files, which is stock, uh, Samsung, ES File Explorer and Solid Explorer. These two are actually fantastic file browsers. ES File Explorer is really handy if you download something. It prompts you to use certain parts that are integrated in that. Solid Explorer, very, very easy to use. Once you're in Solid Explorer, swipe from the left and you can get system root, internal memory or SD card or any USB uh, peripheral you plug in will show up here. If you turn your phone into landscape, you get twin windows and you get as well, you can still get the sidebar. So you can drag and drop things from one window to another. Very, very easy to use. Very, very uh, good application. Going back to the home screen, if I keep moving across to the right, I've got a Google Now screen which is showing the weather at the moment. But if I click on it, it comes up, I can go to more and it'll come up with more tabs. Uh, so we can go through the tabs on there, but it basically aggregates anything. If I go on a journey, it'll pop up on this screen. Going across the next screen, uh, I've quickly touched on this before. I've got my uh, music player, which is a standard Samsung one. Uh, you can have other ones on there, obviously. I've got uh, Soundhound for checking out music via something, TuneIn Radio, and uh, my Falcon Pro, which is my tweet uh, 
settings there. So if I want to go across to uh, Facebook or something like that, I've got a social setting. I click on social, the, uh, the folder, and you can see I've got things in there. I've got my Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Reddit, and Twitter also in, the, in a folder. So you can see it's fairly uh, well set up. I've also got a music folder, so it's got play music and the standard music. I have a media folder, and you can see I've got a few things in my media folder. I use uh, Gallery uh, JB Plus as well as the uh, uh, JB Plus camera now and again. Stock camera, stock gallery, photo uh, downloader plus, Picasso tool, video, which is a standard video player, another video player, direct player, and an MX player for playing different video formats. Uh, moving across the other way, you can see the screen where we've moved these icons up. On that screen, I have a calendar widget, which is... Uh, one calendar, I think it's called. I'll have to just uh, check in the. Uh, I'll put it in the uh, the notes below. But I think it's uh, one calendar, uh, or simple calendar. Let's just uh, let's just double make sure it's a long time. So I've actually uh, gone into the settings on that. So we'll get a screen where we can uh, put something on. See if there's enough space on here. So up some widgets. I've got a widgets. Just to be sure that uh, if you're going to look for this, it's the right one. Uh, Let's quickly shoot through. Uh, da, 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 calendars. Uh. Well, excuse me on that one, but I will find it and I'll put an annotation to it. I'm sure it's this one here that's uh, it's SCW free large or whatever, but it did used to have a, a, a simple calendar widget. That's it. Sorry. They've uh, abbreviated the uh, the name of the uh, calendar, so it's simple calendar widget, and obviously pick the size you want, and then you can do the same thing as I've got. You can have the opacity on the screen to clear. You can have it as big as or small as you want. You can change all the fonts and everything on it. So when I click on this calendar now, it takes me straight to my uh, S planner, so I can have year, month, week, etc., and it comes up with all my aggregated uh, feeds for all the uh, calendar things, appointments, birthdays, etc. And that's basically it. Uh, really. TouchWiz, how people complain about TouchWiz, I don't really have a problem. It, it does everything I need to do. There's no lag, there's no bug. Uh, you can see I'm running a live wallpaper on it. I mean, you can have whatever you want. I, I've, I, I swap and change around like most people. So sometimes I have a static paper and sometimes I have a live wallpaper. Uh, this one should have fish on. I don't know where they've gone there. They are. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much how I uh, have my phone set up. Basically, to do this, what you need to do when you first get your Note 3 or any Samsung device, don't be afraid to clear all your screens of all your widgets and icons. Uh, what I tend to do is clear every single screen and start again, building again. And basically, if you're going to do it on this screen, I won't do it because this is set up how I want, but I can take one off. Say that was a screen and you have it uh, as a standard Samsung screen, just hold uh, on your widget. You see at the top of the screen you've got Remove. Just drop it into that screen. Then when you want to add things back to that screen, you just go into your app drawer, into your widgets, find the widget you want, long press, and just drag it onto the screen you want. Likewise with folders, when you're on your folder screen, you want to make a new folder, uh, see some space on here, you can do it a few ways. You can go into uh, the menu down the bottom, create a folder. Uh, you can do the pull-down menu at the top and do it that way. There's a few ways you can do it, so you create a folder. Uh, it'll actually give it a folder name. Once you've created it, you just drag and drop icons you want into that folder. So very, very easy to do. Uh, but there's no need to have your phone cluttered up. Uh, you can have uh, any widgets you want on any screen. But uh, this is the way I roll with mine. It's fairly neat. Like I say, one screen of widgets, home screen that's fairly clean looking. Uh, you don't need to put custom launches on to uh, customise your phone unless you want to. Uh, there's enough power in uh, the Note uh, 3 and the S4 to run a custom launcher alongside the standard stock launcher anyway. But uh, in my personal opinion, at this moment in time, I've not found any uh, real need to root this uh, uh, Note 3. Uh, a lot of the custom ROMs, they're, they're okay, but I, I don't feel any need to go back to stock Android. Uh, the Nexus 7 I had, to be honest, I actually uh, put uh, Apex Launcher on that because I thought the stock was slow and Apex speeded up uh, no end. So uh, give me a thumbs up again, give me a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, get more videos out to you and I'll get some useful tips out uh, for your uh, Samsung and other Android devices that'll make it more uh, enjoyable and usable. Thanks for watching and again, uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, it helps me a lot.